So, okay, guys, uh, welcome to another uh, stream. I'm actually going to be showing you guys the Windows 10 uh, game overlay that actually is native to Windows 10. I didn't install this or anything. It came directly with the operating system. Um, I'm going to be using it with uh, Final Fantasy XIV, a Realm Reborn. Um, I actually, this is actually the last day for 2.55 content. Uh, then tomorrow is the 24 hour maintenance followed by uh, Heaven's Word Early Access. So anyways, I'm going to hit play and actually show you guys uh, what comes up when I start the game. So it says press Win G or I can also press the home button on my PlayStation 4 controller. To bring up the game menu, the Xbox uh, menu, you actually hit your home button, PlayStation button, Xbox button, whatever you want to call it, or to hit Win G, the Windows button, and the, the, the letter G. Or if you're on the Mac keyboard, you can hit Command G. But usually, best way is you hit the, the home button, PlayStation button, whatever. I'm going to be calling it the PlayStation button. So you hit that, and then you get these options, which you can only select with a mouse for some reason. You can't select it with um, a D pad or anything. So. You get the Xbox menu, you get the record that menu, and also you get the uh, keyboard shortcuts right next to it. Oh, that's the screenshot saved. Uh, and then you hit start recording, which actually will start recording actual the full gameplay right when you do it. Hit settings, and then you can move it around. Let's show off this Xbox menu, shall we? Okay. I hit the PlayStation button. Uh, as like I said, it disappears on its own. Uh, you can only use it with the mouse. So let's hit the Xbox. Comes up. Um, I am already signed in. You can sign in with the Xbox account. Uh, I haven't used this. I haven't used my Xbox account in forever. So. Uh, but I'm probably going to be using it a lot more now. But you can actually show all the games that I've played. I've actually used it on, when I, on, I was on a Windows phone, which connects to my Xbox account. So, uh, But then you have your profile right here. Uh, you your activity feed. Uh, you can basically kind of like a Facebook thing. Uh, you can talk about everything. Uh, your achievements, your most recent achievements. Even if it's something that you got years and years ago, it still shows it. So, uh, then you have following. Uh, it's all um, my friends. So, well, friends that I haven't looked at in a while. Uh, not sure who pretty much anybody is. So, yeah, game clips. Um, when I share captures, like screenshots or anything, it's going to go here. You can customize it, uh, your thing. That's probably like all your normal stuff. Uh, you got your suggestions. You can find somebody. Hit home. This is the activity feed. Usually what my friends are saying. Uh, then you have messages. Uh, this is basically if you, if your friend messages you on your Xbox One or on Windows or anything, it's going to show up here. Activity alerts. Uh, as you can see right here, this is when people live share or comment on your things. You can see it here. Uh, achievements again. Uh, this is clips that I have done. Or screenshots that I've done. Anything that's this is from the game DVR. Anything that I record, screenshot, 
or such, like, take a video of that, it's gonna appear here. It's just a Xbox, the uh, Windows Store uh, for all the games. So, for Windows games. So, now TV listings. Uh, this is that actually connects to your Xbox, the Xbox One, and so you can use your Xbox. You can control your Xbox One via your PC. Here is the actually how you connect to your Xbox One. I do not have an Xbox One, so I can't really test out that feature. Uh, here settings. Sign out. I have Live Tile, which is on the Start menu. Uh, notifications when my favorite people come online, it shows me. Uh, version, this is the about message version. Uh, what's new, it shows off what's new. Go back, you can hit refresh. Uh, what's this? Uh, it's just a bug. This is the thing for the. Uh, you can also hit this, and it actually will expand everything to say what it is. That's it. So, nothing really new there. You can also resize this window if you want and refresh it. And it will automatically resize dynamically. So, let's click on here. So, you got something to say. That's it. Hey, I am testing out. Xbox app on Windows 10. Post. That's pretty much it. People will see that. Um, and that's pretty much it for the Xbox thing. You can actually just exit out and it'll just go back to your game. Uh, hit the home the, the PlayStation button again. You can record that. It actually will record the last thing. Here's the actual settings for the record. So we'll go here first. So let me hit this background recording. Uh, this is completely optional. Uh, I actually turned this on. Uh, it actually came default. It actually came default like this. Uh, like that. It was unchecked. But it said record the last 30 seconds, record while on battery, and record while using a wireless display. You choose that. Uh, but you can also uh, do it for, you know, for up to 10 minutes. So that's good. Uh, I, can, I usually keep it on three minutes. You got the clips. You can show a timer, uh, which we'll show in a second. We'll be actually up here. In the top right hand corner uh, you can choose two out one hour two hours one hour 30 minutes or 30 minutes uh, show tip show tips when I start a game open uh, the ga game bar using the old well, Xbox button on here the Xbox button is the same as my PlayStation button and you can go to the Xbox app which I just showed you for more settings um, then you have just takes a screenshot. Uh, you can also use takes a screenshot with the same simple same Windows command. Uh, so uh, this one hit record that, and there you go. It, it sees this game clip recorded. Uh, it was Seventeen seconds. So now we can just hit restart recording. And then as you can see, it's actually right here. And there you go. We can also turn that off. And it should appear right here. See, so clip recorded. Or to stop, start it again.
There you go. And there's the uh, timer again. Uh, you can, this right here takes off the timer. Uh, you can, if you, if you take it off, you can actually go back to settings and uncheck it and check it again and it will reappear. So let's actually uh, show off some recording and you get some warranty things. And yeah. Let's check out the daily cat pot uh, that my wife usually helps me with, which I will need her help again once I get there. Um, the frame rate is a little crazy right now because I'm actually re doing two recordings. I'm recording this screen while I'm recording the game itself. So the frame rate is a little droppy because I'm using OBS, but usually uh, if I'm just recording the screen as you saw in a previous video, there's no frame rate drops whatsoever, even at this uh, 2080 by 1800 display. I'm only using a MacBook Pro uh, with a 750M, NVIDIA and 750M. So. I need my beautiful wife's help with the kick pot. And I accidentally hit a number, but you choose. She's going to be choosing it. You can also use the mouse if you want. The whole the reason the whole thing about kick pot is it's pretty much like Sudoku. You have nine numbers. Uh, you can they only be used once, and you have to get equal to 6, but it looks like we're not going to be equal to 6 because the only time you can get to equal to 6 is if you get a 1, 2, 3. So, uh, yeah. So, she's actually going to be choosing the numbers. Ah, uh, we got, like, but we got 1,800. So that's not bad, definitely. Let's see what we, we would have got. Ah. Uh, lag. So. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this recording. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below uh, about the, uh, the overlay or anything like that. Uh, so, uh, until next time guys, uh, keep building and keep playing.